to the show. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. It's 9 o'clock. Uh, big news this morning. Apparently, uh, President Barack Obama wants to send people to the moon. Is this true? Hey, that's what's brewing today, okay. Ryan. Right. In fact, he thinks it's going to happen in his lifetime. He's going to see it happen. True story, huh? Yep, although he's not volunteering to do it. Oh, he, well, see, that's, that's, the, that's the catch. That's the <laughs> kicker there. His, his goal is to uh, make this happen by the 2030s with the help of private innovators. And uh, his ultimate ambition is to one day remain there for an extended time. And I think it's interesting how they did say that. He, he said how people should remain there for an extended time. So it's like, do, does he want to go as well? Is, I don't is, think is he's he volunteering. Joining? No, and no. what I did learn upon further research, it takes yeah. a year to get to Mars. A year. So you're going to be traveling wow. by the time you get there. That's, it, yeah, that's you, a lot. You'll be a totally different person by the time you get there. That would be interesting. <laughs> would, would you pull it off yourself? Would you? No, I like my little family too much. <laughs> All the earthlings down here. Although we, we might have an entertaining show if we went up there. To say the least. Right? I mean, what, what, uh, <laughs> what's a CT style like that, you know, our, our, our buddy Marvin there? Oh, that's pretty funny, Ry. Just an idea. Hey, uh, do, do you think I'm sexy? What? <laughs> oh, no, oh, oh you, no, no, no. I, I was talking about the lyrics, the song, do you think, you, get your mind out of the gutter. I got okay? it, okay. Please. Where are you going with this uh, one, Ry well, guy? <laughs> we're, we're going with the artist who sang that song, if you think I'm sexy. Oh. Uh, Rod Stewart, he is now rock royalty. You see what we did there? Call him Sir Rod. Rock star Rod Stewart is now a knight of the British Empire. Yeah, Prince William did the honors yesterday in London as Stuart was knighted at Buckingham Palace. He joins Paul McCartney and Mick Jagger as other legendary British musicians who can now be called Sir. Good for him, huh? Well, Sir Christopher. Well, well You're deserved. on the list. Uh, oh, well, thank you, <laughs> Queen Dufour. I guess that would be the proper terminology. I don't know. So, what could possibly be better than binge watching Golden Girls reruns, Teresa. I actually really like the Golden Girls, so mm -hmm. not a whole heck of a lot. Well, m maybe this will top it. Now you can get your Golden Girls, as they're calling them, quote unquote, action figures. Toy manufacturer Funko announced <laughs> that it will sell the dolls and characters from the classic. <laughs> is this real, Rye? Right? Are this you is sure real? this I, I, is legit? I, I, this is legit. Yeah, they're, they're selling them at New York City's Comic Con this week, and also you can buy them for 25 bucks at Target.com. Interesting keyword here, action figure, because nothing says karate chopping more than Blanche and Dorothy. <laughs> You know? That's so true. Yeah. I have a, one of my best friends is a huge Golden uh, Girls fan. In yeah. fact, he did a reading at my wedding and sang the opening oh, tune. Thank you for being. Yeah, okay. he said and we were in church, like in the basilica, and I thought the priest was going to stop the the whole service. He goes, <laughs> a reading from the Book of Blanche. Oh my gosh! That's and hilarious. he went right into the theme song of the Golden Girls. Wow. Well, well, things are still good. Entertaining. With, mm -hmm. with the whole marriage there, so it all worked <laughs> out apparently. Hey, that really happened. Yeah, something that might be missing from mm -hmm. McDonald's, if you head on over there this week, the fast food giant says McDonald's is keeping a low profile right now. Well, with Ronnie, not Ronnie. so much McDonald's itself, but the clown. I, I like how you call him Ronnie. <laughs> like, a, oh yeah, hey Ron. Up, Ronnie? Yeah, well, because of all the pranks with the clowns and threats nationwide involving <laughs> clown costumes, I thought it would be safe to just, you know, do away with Ronald. Be low key for a little while. They're not doing away with it. They're just keeping him inside and okay. away from the crowds. I, I, th I think that's interesting though, because I mean, he he's not a, a creepy clown. He's a friendly clown. What do you think? Should they have kept him or? Well, that can go either way. I mean, people might vandalize. I don't know. I mean, he never really scared me. But right. um, there's potential, I uh -huh. guess. Well, they're just uh, protecting themselves apparently. But uh, <laughs> here's another crazy story that's brewing here. There, there's a landmark bridge in Arkansas. Okay, so it was a, it was scheduled to implode. So they were going to take it down. Okay. Uh, but the explos the explosives went off. Nice show there, right? And you you would expect the bridge to fall. But yeah, that's no, no. Nothing wow, this happened. This is a sturdy bridge, huh? Yeah. Wow, then they tried to pull it down with a barge, and eventually, <laughs> after five hours, the bridge did come down. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> five hours later, so uh, glad they took care of business there. You All know, right, doing there's your Arkansas thing. news. <laughs> <laughs> in, in other Arkansas news today, uh, no, back to Connecticut. We are cruising Connecticut this morning, and, and there is a connection here with the clowns. I'm, I'm what? Yes, you're getting into the Halloween spirit yes. here. Yes, yeah, we, we went over to uh, Creeporum. It's a haunted house in Hamden, so it's a 3,000 square foot house of horror. And it was interesting because before they sent me out on this story, they yeah. said, oh, it, it'll be really cute. You, no, you no, go you to this place. you better run for your money, didn't you? Yeah, well, well, they told me it was a segment about Halloween makeup, and then we walked into this. Welcome to Kripal, a reason to fear the dark. Quite a scary experience. Well, it's my job to be scary. It's a fact, if I'm not scaring the bejeebies out of you, it's, I'm not doing my job. Yeah, 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 got you, got you, got you. 
Well, you, you sure did do that. Now, I, I have to ask you, how, how long have you been doing this for? Technically, 30 years. I had no choice to give up my other business, just making novelty toys and just focus on Halloween 100%. A lot of houses in Connecticut right now, not all of them, but uh, many of them are outdoor haunts. <laughs> Here, it's, everything is more condensed, more claustrophobic. It's more of a circus, a kind of entertaining. <laughs> it's very intense, so be prepared for not relaxing. So in the minute you go in to the time you leave, you're not, you're not concerned about how long it takes you to get through, you're, you're concerned about how to get out. I like scaring adults. This pressure's on your face. On, on my face? Why are you making it so personal? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Last weekend, we actually had uh, some people walk through, and one of the ladies uh, urinated. Uh, and she told us it was that scary, so she was very appreciative. Well, be sure to bring your depends, <laughs> I guess. Get me out of here! Somebody help! Come on! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm okay now, yeah. Thankfully, Gail Simmons came to the rescue, got me out of there. Were you freaked out? Like, yeah, it, I was freaked out. Yeah. We, we, okay. Well, the, the first time they brought us through for like a friendly tour, before we shot it, hey, here's kind of what it's all about. So we're walking through, me and Keith Porter, our, uh -huh. our, our camera guy, and we're walking through, and all of a sudden there's clowns popping out and foghorns going off, and I'm like, I, I, I think I jumped in his arms like three separate <laughs> times. So really... It looks uh, like a scary one, Wild, sure. wild experience. Uh, again, it's called Creeporum in Hamden. Make sure you guys check that out. Uh, and. That was my first haunted house. Which Your is first haunted house? First, yeah, I, yeah. Weird. Okay. Crazy. All right. Well, oh, anyway, yeah. hey, moving on now. It is Win It Wednesday. We're giving away a Kettler indoor outdoor ping pong table from Porch and Patio. How cool is that? All you got to do is head on over to WTNH.com and click on that contest page for your chance to win. And later on in the show, we're going to announce the winner of our MBD beauty contest. So that should be fun as well.